with Trey Lance, Niner fans, and especially Jimmy Garoppolo fans, are going to hound him if he loses. Because they're going to say, I don't care. He should be the reason they win. Oh, there was adversity? He should overcome it. That's why they gave up three first-round picks for him. That's why they anointed him over uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. That's unfair. One day, he's going to be held to that standard because of the draft picks. But not yet. He's 22. His job this year, the Niners have said it, I've said it, is don't be the reason they lose the game. I don't think he was the reason they lost this game. He threw the interception. That wasn't good. Debo Samuel turned the ball over. They both turned the ball over. Frankly, Trey Lance lost, didn't have George Kittle or Elijah Mitchell. He was the leading rusher on the team. They lost the game because Kyle Shanahan had no adjustment when they lost Mitchell, and the defense didn't show up for the second half. The team physically wasn't prepared to play a 60-minute game. Uh, I can't blame Trey for this one. Also, it was a monsoon. By the time the fourth quarter started, you couldn't throw the ball anymore. Um, but I want to focus on – so I, I feel like I'm making excuses for Trey Lance. I'm just explaining why I thought – why I was, encur- I was encouraged by his performance. I was encouraged by his performance. Again, when Elijah Mitchell was healthy in the first half, this running game was unstoppable. They're averaging 6.4 yards per carry. You could win doing that. But Mitchell went down. Kyle couldn't figure out a running back to replace him. Should have been Mason. Offense fell apart. But when they had the run game going, I feel like over and over, Lance was doing things that you'd be like, oh, well, Jimmy can't do that. Oh, that was beautiful. I haven't seen a quarterback in the Niners do that in years. Over and over. And I'll go through it. I mean, he ran for four first downs in this game. And not just like fourth and one quarterback sneaks. Third and two. Run for a first down. First and 10. Oh, this is the first drive. First and 10 from the 47. He hits Brandon Ayuk for 31 yards. That was a beautiful throw. That was his second throw of the game. It was his first downfield throw of the game, actually, because his first throw was a little pop pass to Debo. His first throw past the line of scrimmage was a 31-yard gain to Ayuk. Beautiful. What was the next play? Debo fumble. In the, in the red zone. Took three points off the board, theoretically. So who's really at fault for this loss? Okay, next drive. The deep throw to Croft. Should have hit that. So now he's one for two on deep throws. Okay, you're not going to be 100% on deep throws. Should have hit that. Absolutely should have hit that. Then he gets sacked in uh, field goal range. Maybe he could have avoided it, but Mike McGlinchey. Oh, my God. Two drives later. Hits Ray Ray McLeod for 20 yards on second and four. Another freaking dime. One of the nicest throws I've seen a Niners quarterback throw in a long time between three defenders. Jimmy couldn't have done that. Then two drives later, one drive later, one drive later, hits Brandon Ayuk on third and three. Ayuk runs an out route, 14-yard gain. It's a freaking dime. They call offensive pass interference. I thought it was a ticky-tack call but it really has nothing to do with Lance. It was a perfect throw and read from Lance, but it doesn't count. Next play, third and 13, quarterback draw, gets gets, uh, the yardage, and he gets hit. About nine yards downfield, powers forward for the extra four. That's clutch. I mean, another play, not only would Jimmy not be able to do it, they wouldn't even call it for Jimmy. Haven't seen a quarterback on the Niners be able to do that since Kaepernick. Then you got third and six in the third quarter, the 44-yard throw to Jawan Jennings on... Third, that was perfect. Again, deep outside the numbers where you want him throwing the ball, right? Third and two, quarterback power, three yards, first down, same drive. Then it starts getting really weird. Okay, so uh, Pettis scores the touchdown. They're up 10-7 at this point. Uh, Running game's not working. Mitchell's out. All of a sudden, Kyle starts calling passes over the middle. And this is what doomed Kyle Trey hit the first one third and five. He has Juwan Jennings over the middle for seven. Kyle's thinking, okay, we can, I can go back to what I'm comfortable with these slants and stuff. So then next time in the fourth quarter, Trey Lance goes over the middle again on third and 10 hits Dwelly for 11, two for two. Kyle's getting a false sense of security. Don't do it. Kyle 
Stop calling passes over the middle. But no. Three plays later, third and five. Calls that slant to whoever intercepted. That wasn't good. But I told you before the season, Kyle's job is to not call hella passes over the middle for Trey. Between all the different ways they can run the ball and throw it down the field off play action outside the numbers, no need to force passes over the middle. What does Kyle do? Force passes over the middle in the second half. Gets picked. So, yeah, Trey can't throw that. That was on Trey. You know, you got you got to recognize the cover one, the robber, and not and not lead him th- to the slant with your eyes. Still, Kyle, why? Why did you call that? So many things. Third and five? Why don't you throw deep to Juwan Jennings? Why don't you, why don't you run the ball with, with, with Lance? Why don't you th- call a play action deep over? Anything that's worked. A slant? Oh, that was a bad call. Bad call. So um, that's Trey's limitations. But then on the next drive, he picks up another first down on third and two with his legs. Uh, second and two with his legs. So many examples of things he can do that Jimmy can't. So many ways that you can see this offense is going to be better with him. All they really need is Elijah Mitchell or a running back they trust who's good. And the offense works. Because let me just remind you this. People are getting upset. In the first half, this is what their offense looked like. Mitchell, six carries, 6.8 yards per attempt. Samuel, six carries, 6.7 yards per attempt. Lance, three carries, seven yards per attempt. Ayuk, one carry, seven yards per attempt. Jeff Wilson, two carries, six yards, uh, six, two carries, three yards per attempt. So it worked. Everyone was going crazy except Wilson, who still doesn't look. I was, I like Jeff Wilson. I was hoping he would bounce back. Doesn't look like he has yet. Um, if they could just get a decent replacement for Elijah Mitchell, Jordan Mason, Jordan Mason, this offense is going to be really hard to stop. It's the run game. And if Talanoho Funga can just play his position, this team's going to win. They outgained. Chicago by 127 yards and lost by nine. So I, again, I come back to Trey. I think what he did in this game was mostly encouraging. He can't force passes over the middle and Kyle Shanahan needs to stop calling passes over the middle for him. Why get back to throwing the play action deep cross the, the throw to Ayuk and the throw to Ray Ray were two of the, it was like they're breathtaking doves came out and flew in the air. Time stopped. It was amazing. I cried. One single tear ran down my face when I saw those throws. It was amazing. And the people, some people were like, no, we want Jimmy back so he can get out of here. Jimmy would have thrown a bunch of passes over the middle, gotten picked too. I was encouraged. I gave him a B. Am I an easy grader? Maybe. I was encouraged. 